Beyond Neptune, the most distant planet from the Sun, there lies a dark and mysterious realm filled with millions of icy objects. This is the Kuiper Belt and it is located at the very edge of our solar system. There are countless asteroids in our solar system which are located in a region of space between Mars and Jupiter. This is known as the Asteroid Belt. There are many similarities between the Asteroid Belt and the Kuiper Belt, but in this video, we will be exploring some of their key differences. The Kuiper Belt was discovered in 1992 by astronomers Jane Liu and Dave Lewitt. Scientists believe that they are the remnants of the early history of our solar system. It is one of the largest structures in our entire solar system and it is almost shaped like a donut. The Kuiper Belt is often confused with the Oort Cloud, which is a much more distant region that consists of icy bodies and comets. So how exactly was the Kuiper Belt formed and what is in it? The icy objects of the Kuiper Belt are believed by astronomers to be leftovers from the solar system's creation. Beyond the orbit of Neptune, the eighth planet from the Sun lies in the cold, icy Kuiper Belt, which circles the outer solar system. According to NASA, it is comparable to the main asteroid belt, which is located between Mars and Jupiter, in that its objects are made of leftover material from the solar system's formation about 4.6 million years ago. So far, only one spacecraft has ever visited the Kuiper Belt. Back in July 2015, NASA launched a mission known as the NASA New Horizons mission to specifically study the dwarf planet Pluto, all of its moons, and other objects in the Kuiper Belt. However, we've barely scratched the surface. The amount of material that we have found in the Kuiper Belt is probably only just a fraction of what is actually out there. NASA is still exploring the depths of the Kuiper Belt through the New Horizons mission and we hope to have some amazing discoveries shortly. The Asteroid Belt is a region of space found between the planets Mars and Jupiter. Most of the asteroids orbiting our Sun are found in this belt. It is described as torus-shaped. Four main objects make up almost half the entire mass of this belt. These include three asteroids called Pallas, Hygieia, and Vesta and a dwarf planet known as Sears. The asteroid belt was first discovered in 1801 by Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi. He found Sears and then astronomers began to find other objects located in the asteroid belt. By the year 2000, it has been estimated that over 100,000 asteroids had been discovered. Similar to the Kuiper Belt, the asteroid belt was formed from the remains of our solar system. Our solar system isn't the only one to have an asteroid belt. The asteroid belt originated as a collection of planetesimals from the first solar nebula. The tiny progenitors to protoplanets are called planetesimals. However, gravitational alterations from Jupiter gave the protoplanets between Mars and Jupiter too much orbital energy for them to accrete into planets. The size of the asteroids present in the asteroid belt ranges from the size of a small dust particle to 1,000 kilometers wide. A region measuring about 140 million miles across is covered by the main belt, which is located between Mars and Jupiter at a distance of two to four times that of the Sun. Sears is the only dwarf planet in the belt and it is also the largest object present in the belt. Compared to the Kuiper Belt, exploring the asteroid belt is much more difficult. There have been a few probes sent to the asteroid belt in the past however there are some challenges that come with it. The density of the materials in the belt is extremely low, and due to this, the probability of any probe running into an asteroid is also low. In 2007, NASA launched a space probe known as Dawn to explore the asteroid Vesta, which is the second most massive body in the asteroid belt. After exploring Vesta for a year, the space probe also explored the dwarf planet Sears. The space probe collected various samples from these bodies for our scientists to study. What are some of the main differences between the asteroid belt and the Kuiper belt? The main difference between the Kuiper belt and the asteroid belt is that the Kuiper belt is much larger in size and more massive and the objects in the Kuiper belt are composed largely of various cubes of ice compared to the silicates, rocks, 
and metals of the asteroid belt. The asteroid belt is believed to be between 249 million kilometers and 749 million kilometers from the Sun, whereas the Kuiper belt is supposed to be between 4.5 to 8.2 billion kilometers away from the Sun. The Kuiper belt is estimated to be around 20 times as wide and 200 times as massive as the asteroid belt. The asteroid belt itself is estimated to be about 4% of the mass of the Moon. The Kuiper belt is also much bigger than the asteroid belt. The objects in the asteroid belt are mostly rocky as opposed to the objects in the Kuiper belt which are mainly icy. Lastly, the Kuiper belt is known to be quite cold. As it is located beyond Neptune, the temperature there is only 50 degrees above absolute zero. The asteroid belt has a temperature of around minus 73 degrees Celsius to minus 108 degrees Celsius.